Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikkel. Subscribe, like, comment, share, turn post notifications, and turn the bell so each time I drop and upload a video, you're notified. So turn the bell, ding, 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 and if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up. Ching, 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 ching. And one love to all the chosen ones that's out there. One love to the whole, one love to the whole house of Israel, y'all's chosen elect, y'all's chosen remnant, and I um I hope everyone is having a blessed day. I'm also having a blessed day. Okay, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to get straight to the point. Okay, I'm going to talk about. The topic and title for today's video is Yah is going to give us the power he gave to Samson to defeat these evil devils. Because these demons, they run this world and matrix and they run this earth. But with Yah's help, strength and power, they can not defeat us. With Yah on our side, we cannot lose. We cannot lose a battle with Yahweh on our side. Because these evil devils, they try to put us through a whole lot of stress and anxiety. These evil devils are oppressors. They love oppressing and attacking Yah's people. They love attacking Yah's chosen people. And they always thinking of ways to oppress us and to make us always just be worried like, like with inflation. Nana's hyperinflation. Everything has gone up the gas prices, the food prices, everything is so expensive and high and people rent is going up. The landlords is going up on people rent. A lot of people has got evicted because when the pandemic came and a hyperinflation, a lot of people is back in rent. So a lot of people is going to be evicted. A lot of people has been evicted already. But they put all these obstacles, stumbling blocks and roadblocks in our way to make us be stressed out, depressed, always feeling down, always put us in a bad mood, and always put us in a bad spirit. They want to bother our mind because, because we always got to worry about paying bills. I mean, and bills come in every month. Time going by fast. It's like time is just rolling. It's like pages turning. It's like pages is flipping. Cause time just rolling so fast. And and bills come every month. The bills rolling so fast every month that our bills just keep coming. And every month, a lot of times we can't pay them on time, so our bills are just stacking up because a lot of jobs is not high paying. A lot of these jobs are low paying. What they pay us is not enough to survive because we're supposed to get paid every day. According to the Bible, we're supposed to get paid when our work day is over. But a lot of times we get paid once a, once a week. No. On some jobs, we get paid on some jobs, we get paid every week or every two weeks. We're not getting paid from our day. We're not getting paid every day when we get off of work. One week pay or two weeks pay. So a lot of times we fall behind and get back in bills. 
these evil devils that rule this world, they want us to be, they try to bring us down all the time. They put a lot of chains on us. They put a lot of chains and lay, they put a lot of chains and lay a lot of burdens on our shoulders. They lay a lot of burdens on us. That's why we gotta have Yah. We cannot defeat these devils. Without, we cannot defeat these devils without the power of the Almighty. We cannot defeat and destroy these devils in a battle without the Almighty powerful Yah. Hallelujah. And like I said, we're just if we stay faithful, if we keep Yah's laws, statutes, commandments, precepts, and judgments, it would just stay faithful. Trust and believe in Him and lean on Him. Lean on His understanding because in this world, you got to constantly pray. In this demon world, you gotta constantly pray to Yah. We need Yah to strengthen our mental stability on a daily basis because our mind gotta stay strong. We gotta stay strong. We gotta keep our mind in perfect peace. We got to stay in perfect peace. We got to pray to God to keep us in perfect peace. Oh, Yahweh, keep us in perfect peace. Mighty Yah, stretch out your hand and keep us in perfect peace. Give us mental stability. Strengthen our mind. Keep our mind right. Keep our mind in perfect peace. Keep us in perfect peace. Yes. We got to sing and sing praises to the almost high Yah. To keep our mind in perfect peace. To keep us in perfect peace. Because these devils try all they can to bring us down. To keep us down. They want to drag us down and keep us down. Like I say, with Yah's help, being faithful, true to Him, Yah will send us power to overthrow these evil, demonic devils. Like Samson, Yah gives the power, they give Samson to destroy the Philistines. And I'm going to read a scripture. I'm going to read, this is Samson. This when he captured Samson, and Samson, he prayed to Yah to give him strength so that he can break away free. There's Samson. There's Sam. There's Samson tied up. They capture him, and they have Samson tied up. But Samson prayed to let him break loose. Let him break. And bust open the ropes or chains that they had him in. Okay, so this is, let me get the scripture up on my phone. This is Judges chapter 14, verses 15 through 16. And he found a new jawbone of an ass. And put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith. And Samson said, With the jawbone of an ass, heps upon heps, with the jawbone of an ass, have I slain a thousand men. So Samson took a jawbone of an ass and he slew a thousand men. He killed a thousand men with the jawbone 
of an ass. Now you know, no human man can do that on his own. No human man can do that alone. The only time a man, only time a man, woman can do that, we need Yah's power. We need the true and living Elohim help strength the power on our side, right by our side. So I told you, we got to call on Yah. Yah is the only key to us defeating this evil, this evil system, this evil system of America. Come on, Hebrew Israelites, the lost house of Israel. We got to get back to Yah. We have to. Yah is our only help, our only strength, our only power. Okay, now I'm going to go to... Uh, this is this is when Samson, Delilah cut off Samson's hair, and they put out Samson's eyes. Yes, it was. They were cruel. Yes, they put out Samson's eyes and made him blind. But when Samson was blind and could not see, all Samson saw was darkness but in that darkness that's when Samson could really see the true light and could see the true world in that darkness Samson realized that this world belongs to Yah everything in this world it belongs to Yah. Samson realized that this is Yah's world. Yah made, own, and control everything. This is Yah's world. So, in the darkness, this is Samson could truly see the light. He reflected on all of his mistakes, not obeying Yah's word. So, so but I did not obey Yah's word. He had to accept his punishment, but he repented. Once he once he reflected and really saw how he messed up. And he repented. He repented and asked Yah for. He asked Yah for forgiveness. And Yah forgave him. Yah let his hair grow back. His strength came back. So, but, so, but. But the Philistines then realized that once his hair had grown back, they didn't know that the Most High was going to give him back all his strength. Okay, so this is when they got him, and they made Samson milk, made him push a wheel, like a wheel grain. They made Samson a slave, and they mocked and made fun of him. Okay, so they put him to the temple to worship their, their fake idol god, Dagon. But they did not know that that day, when Samson prayed out to Yah, he, he, prayed and pleaded, he, he prayed and pleaded out to Yah, and Yah gave him that strength again to destroy and kill all those evil wicked Philistines y'all sent in the power to destroy the evil Philistine nation okay so here we go to this is 
This is Judges. Okay, let me let me pull it up. This is Judges chapter 16, verses 28 through 30. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord, Elohim, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O Elohim, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood, and on which it was one up of the one with his right hand and of the other with his left and Samson said let me die with the Philistines and he bowed himself with all his might and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein so the dead, which he slew at his death, were more than which he slew in his life. Yeah, so with the jawbone he killed, a, with the jawbone of an ass he killed a thousand of the Philistines. But at this temple, he killed more. In his death, he killed more Philistines than he had ever killed. In his life, he tore down the temple. He tore down the two pillars, and the temple came crushing and tumbling down. The temple fell down, and he killed 3,000 of the Philistines. Everyone at the temple died, including Samson. He died himself, but Samson was the leader of the Israelites. His job was to protect his people from the Philistines. So Samson was the leader and protector of Israel. So Samson sacrificed his life to destroy and kill the Philistines on that day. He killed thousand Philistines on that day he killed more Philistines in his death than he killed when he was alive so Samson made a great sacrifice Israel was was finally saved and at peace from the Philistines they're finally at peace from getting attacked by the Philistines. I love the story. I love that. I love the story. The Old Testament is the true book of Yah. There's so much truth and power in the Old Testament. You just gotta read it and ask Most High Yah for discernment good judgment and good clarity, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and to help you to understand his word. Y'all pray to be more spiritually and grown and ask y'all to help you comprehend and understand and meditate on his holy word so that you will get the true understanding of these stories and the true meaning of the stories about Yah's prophets and the nation of Israel. Yes, yeah, like I said, we got your job. Just but y'all let Samson die because Samson's purpose was fulfilled. In his death, he finally have fulfilled what he was born for. He defeated the Philistines and gave his people 
of Israel. He gave his people of Israel rescue and peace. Samson delivered. He rescued his people and delivered peace to his people, the nation of Israel. But so, God's purpose was fulfilled and done. That's why Yah let him die with the, with the Philistines. Samson time was up. His purpose was done over. His purpose was done and over. That's why Yah let Samson die with the Philistines on that day. Like, like I said, we would just trust y'all. Like if someone's pointing a gun at you or trying to stab you, hurt you, or do any harm to you, attack you, any kind of harm, you might see a car about to crash into you, but, but crowd to y'all. Fear not and don't be scared. Call, call for y'all to help you and save you and y'all gonna save you but but if you, if your time to go you might not get saved if you not if y'all don't save you and you die then it was your time to go because y'all gave us a birth date and a death date y'all know we are going to die so if y'all don't save you and you die it's because that's your death date your time is up and it's your time to go but but if you pray and cry out to y'all to save you and help you and, and it's not your death date It's not your death date or time to go or time to die. Then Yah is going to rescue you and save you. But if you survive and don't get killed, but you get hurt real bad, then it's Yah will. Because in, in everything, there's a purpose. So if you get hurt, that's y'all's purpose. That's y'all's will. Whatever happened to us in this life is always y'all's will and y'all's purpose for our life. But we gotta pray. Y'all pray to get strength to accept and get through what y'all throws at us on a daily basis and our everyday lives and so yeah, so that's it of this spiritual message was inspirational and uplifting to all the chosen elect the chosen remnant and the chosen ones of the house of Israel that's out there I guess I'm going to, I, didn't, I didn't mean to make this video long, but I had to get all my points of what I wanted to say. And I'm going to end it here. Again, I'm Mikhail. Subscribe. Like, comment, share. And turn the bell so each time I drop in, upload the video, you, you'll be notified. So turn the bell. Ding, 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 and if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up. Ch -ch 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 and enjoy the rest of your blessed day because I'm going to enjoy the rest of my blessed day and remember with Yah on our side no one can hurt us with Yah on our side don't worry about who is against you because it doesn't matter 
with Yah on our side, we can defeat all these evil devils and and defeat anyone that's plotting against us and that is against us. So always remember that. Always remember it. With Yah on our side, Yah's help strength. With Yah's help, power, strength, we can conquer and do anything. We can conquer, beat, and defeat anyone and anything that these evil devils always throw at us. While we stuck and got to live on this earth, this wicked demonic earth y'all can always help us in this spiritual warfare against good and evil y'all is our only help strength and salvation to defeat the spiritual warfare that we are in in this evil wicked demonic matrix earth and world that we got to be on so we got to be in until y'all come back, rescue us, save us, and take us back in the land. Take us back to the new kingdom, our new life, the new life that's going to be full of happiness, abundance, joy, no sorrows, no pain and death. A life of perfectness, a life of perfection. <laughs> I can't wait till that day come. I can't wait till Yah comes back and save his chosen remnant, his chosen elect, his chosen people. I can't wait to come back and save his chosen people. Okay, it's so like I say. By chosen, by chosen ones to the chosen elect, chosen remnant of Israel. By chosen ones, by I appreciate all the love and support, and I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Most High Yah by saying, Hallelujah! 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 Praise the mighty Yahweh. 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 Praise his name seven times. Praise Yah, praise Yah. Praise Yah, praise Yah, praise Yah, praise Yah. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh is righteous all the time, day and night, winter and summer, both seasons. <laughs> Praise the mighty Yahweh. Praise the mighty Yah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I meant to give y'all praise, glory, honor at the beginning of my videos, but I'm, I'm new to this, so I remember start from here on out and my intro videos always open up with giving y'all all the praise, glory, and the honor because he deserves all the praise, glory, and honor. He's a merciful, loving, kind, and forgiving, so I definitely got to give him always first all the praise, glory, and honor. So I'm going out of here again. Bye. One love.